In this video, we're going to look at the two basic components in graph theory that make up the physical graphs that you see here. And the two basic components are edges and vertices. So all of these pink dots, we refer to them as vertices, or each one's a vertex. So that's a vertex, right, all throughout. And they can sit on the edge of the graph, in a corner, in the middle, it doesn't matter where they're sitting. Anytime you see one of these dots, you can refer to them as a vertex. And all of these lines, doesn't matter how long they are or how short or if they're crossing or even if they're curved. Let's just add one over here. All of these, including this curved line, we can refer to as an edge. So in graph theory, the two basic components are edges and vertices. So what's a, what is a vertex and what is an edge? Well, it depends on the, on the problem that you're looking at, but we could say that edges are essentially lines, curved or straight, and vertices can form when edges intersect or along an edge. So there's a couple of cases here. They can form when edges intersect. Intersect. And let me just move that down. I want to highlight the key keyword there for me, which is can. They can form when edges intersect. So for example, here's an edge coming this way, here's one coming this way, they meet here, and we form a vertex. But notice here, these two lines are meeting, they're crossing, but there's not a vertex there. And we'll, we'll talk more about that in our next video, but let's call this point here T. Right? We could say there's, there is a point there, or this location, but there's not. So every time edges cross, we don't have to label it as a vertex. And another case here, let's call this R. Notice this point R, it is, it is sitting here on this edge. And it looks like these two edges are really going to meet here at R, but really, perhaps you could think of this, this vertice or this vertex on this one large edge. So R here is a vertex, but it's not where edges intersect, it's on an edge. So they can form when edges intersect, they don't have to, or they can form, or you can place them, that's what I mean by can form, that might be a little confusing, sorry. You can place them when edges intersect, or you can place them or they can form on an edge. But they don't have to, right? There's, there's no guaranteed rules there. So for example, let's say this is really a map of uh, flight patterns, right? We have an, an airplane takes off from this airport and it's going along and it follows the edge and it comes here to this airport here right well maybe at the same time there's an airplane leaving from this airport going here right so it's going to fly along this edge to get there and this one's flying along this edge to get there when they cross here of course you don't want the two planes to intersect and those two lines you can think of them as being above each other right so we don't have to have a vertex there and that's part of the reason why vertexes don't have to form when edges intersect. And here, perhaps a plane's going along. It can land here at this airport and then keep going to this one. So we can have an airport in between. So there's plenty of situations in, in which a vertice makes sense uh, not forming when lines intersect and other situations where it can form on an edge. All right, up next, accidental crossings, which is the highlight here of point T.